What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is a little bit of a different video, just to give a little bit of context on where I've been with the hobby recently and why uh, things have slowed down personally in my Admech army development. As you may have noticed in my kit fashion videos, I don't typically paint them before showing them off and that <laughs> is because I have a lot of things going on in my life. I work a full-time job. I have this channel along with the actual building and painting of miniatures, which takes a lot of time. And if I wanted to show you guys this stuff in any sane person's amount of time, I'm going to have to make some sacrifices. And painting is where I do that because these kit bash videos, at least, are focused on the kit bashes, not so much on the paint jobs. However, I do, in fact, paint my models, and I have just completed. Uh, one of the older Kit Bash project on my channel, which is the Kesselin robot conversion. You can uh, see that up in one of the corners. I'm not sure which one. And it was so much fun to do. I got to use new technologies like transfers that I hadn't used since rejoining the hobby and, and just to like play around with some stuff. As this was more of a showcase model, I wanted to put some t real time and effort into the OSL, into the lighting, into the the weathering, and everything that kind of went along with it, and they turned out super nice. I have one of them right here. You're gonna see some better footage in a little bit. There we go. I'll show you guys some sweet, sweet B-roll in a little bit, but just to prove that I <laughs> did in fact paint them. Uh, but I wanted to talk about how much nicer it is to have a finished model on the table than an unfinished one. Over the past couple of months, I've been participating in a local 40k crusade in which one of the rules was if your unit was painted to a battle-ready standard, then they would start with three experience points. Uh, we didn't do the whole painted army for 10 victory points that is currently involved in match play, since we thought that would be a little bit oppressive for people newer to the hobby like myself. But I still wanted to get my dudes battle ready so they could get that extra XP that gives them more upgrades. You know, it gives them a better chance at winning. So I started speedrunning battle ready paints for the entire army of the crusade. Now, battle ready by definition of our crusade organizers was basically three different colors in base coats and that's it. You don't need your highlights. You don't need your shading. It's not the same as GW's definition, but again, just trying to make things more open and friendly towards newer people into the hobby. And I really like that. It did force me <laughs> to get my painting started at least, and to do it often for all of the escalation periods we had in the crusade where our orders of battle would rise up in points level for the next round. It got me to the point where I had 1750 points worth of battle ready painted ad mech and that's great <laughs> that's way faster than i would have done it before but what it did mean is i didn't have the time to spend working on the detailing and, and things like osl dramatic lighting weathering uh getting the streaking grime washes and everything all of the sort of finishing touches the really fun parts of the model to paint, in my opinion, uh, are those finishing steps, and I, and I wasn't able to really do that until recently. The crusade has ended, and all of my time that was spent painting to a battle-ready standard, and now I have all these guys that are almost ready to just do the fun stuff with. <laughs> so I have a lot of finishing touches to do, but hey, that is close to my goal of a 2,000 point Ad Mac Army completely finished and painted, and I think that's going to be super doable before the end of the year. Now, I've been working on other things as well, you know, kill teams and such and such, and either even some other ambitious auxiliary projects, soon to be revealed, I'm sure. But it's been such a nice pleasure painting up these little dudes and giving them all the details, all the nice little pieces to just make them look really really good but that's enough talking for me i've just been talking about how i enjoy the painting process for 
the past few minutes. You guys want to see what these models look like, right? So, without further ado, here are my finished Castle and Robot conversions. And as a bonus, throw in the Datasmith conversion I did too. As always, thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed this look into these conversions and into uh, what my paint jobs typically end up looking like, feel free to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Or leave a comment. What is the most recent model that you have finished? I'd like to hear about it. What, what, do you, what have you been working on? And always, if you want to catch more Toasty, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see me at the same Toasty time, same Toasty place. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.